Good morning. Welcome to St. Paul's Monastery. Our opening song is Holy, 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 number 264. Please rise. Good morning. Good morning, Father. We welcome all of you who are joining us here for this uh, Most Holy Trinity Sunday here at St. Paul Monastery and those who are joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. And as we gather together, we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord has commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, the merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find the favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. <laughs> Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever glory and praise forever blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim praiseworthy and exalted above all forever glory and praise A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. And the holy ones greet you. The great of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I love the Holy Trinity. I think it's in my blood because I grew up in Holy Trinity Parish in Louisville, Kentucky, <coughs> and I went to Trinity High School, so I think I have Trinity running through my blood. And I propose that I think it's running through the blood of all of us. A couple of weeks ago, there was a Theology of the Body virtual conference that was on the internet. And they had a good number of speakers on three days of presenting topics on the theology of the body. And one of the speakers spoke about how the theology of the body is expressed in our lives today. And she said, what we have to look at is to realize that within the Trinity, there is this love. There is total love that the Father gives to the Son. There's a total love that the Son gives to the Father. And their total love then is expressed in the Holy Spirit. And this is what they share and give to us. They want us to experience their love, which then we in turn are to share in love with one another. So one of the spiritual communions this uh, speaker spoke about was the incarnation. Jesus became flesh. God became flesh in the person of Jesus. So as he wanted to be a part of our life. In our first reading today, Moses comes before God and says, if you find us worthy, come into our company. And God walked and was with his people throughout the Old Testament. He was always there guiding them, teaching them. And eventually in the New Testament, we talk about the coming of God in the person of Jesus Christ in our lives. And so we should be in love with the Holy Trinity and have it running through our blood because the Trinity is with us. And the challenge given to us is how do we then share that love with others? The theology of the body primarily talks about the sacrament of marriage and it is in that sacrament where the husband gives his love totally to his wife. The wife gives totally her love to her husband and then that love is expressed in children and or the expression that they share of a unity as husband and wife as a couple as they share their life with others. It is also given to us in the Eucharist that we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So when we come to Mass, we are receiving God within us. And now we are called, and no matter what our vocation is, whether we're married, whether we are consecrated persons, whether we are single people, whatever our vocation is, then we are to share that love and to share that presence of Jesus Christ with others because we are now the body of Christ. We are, in essence, bringing Jesus to others. And if you read Paul's letter to the Corinthians this morning, it talks about how we are to care for one another. We are to love one another. We are to have compassion for one another. We are to reach out and show that we have the presence of Jesus Christ with us. And so this is part of these four weekends that I talked about several weeks ago. We had the Feast of the Ascension, where the Lord returned back to his Father in heaven. 
And then last week we celebrated the coming of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And now we will celebrate today the <coughs> Trinity as the love of God, Father, Son, and Spirit is given to us and we share it with one another. And next week we're going to celebrate the most holy body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, where we reflect upon how important the Eucharist is for us. <coughs> But I think today we are called and challenged to make sure that we are sharing the presence and the love of the Lord. So let us carry the Holy Trinity within us. Let us carry the love of the Father, the Spirit, and the Son all together in our life that we need to share that in our lives with one another. Let us stand together now and share our profession of faith. And this morning we will share the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <coughs> creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Out of love for the world, God sent Jesus to save it and the Holy Spirit to sanctify it. We call to mind our needs, trusting in God's infinite Trinitarian love. For the Church, that the unconditional love of the Trinity may strengthen and inspire each of us, deepen our love for one another, and help us to witness God's love and mercy to the others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop George Murray, that the risen Lord will welcome him in the fullness of the life and live in God's presence forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill with the coronavirus, that God will free the world from the virus, heal those who are afflicted, and protect all healthcare workers and first responders who are serving those who are healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homebound and the sick, that their God will protect them, renew their spirits, and give them strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a healing of racism, that all nations and peoples may recognize the value and dignity that God has given each person, and that they may work together to bring forth the reign of God in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we pray this Mass, let us remember Bishop George M Murray and Mark Stevens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also want to remember Teresa Alstoff, who's a member of our Holy Family Institute here in the, um, Ellsworth. Uh, she just had um, a grandson uh, last week. Unfortunately, she passed mm -hmm. away uh, this morning, she, or last night with her husband. Uh, they were watching television, and she uh, passed away on the couch there next to him. So we want to keep her in our thoughts and prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord the Triune God, increase our worthiness of your love and fidelity, and grant the prayers we offer today through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The offertory song is Come Holy Ghost, number 333, first and last verses. Take a 
grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made to fill the hearts which thou hast made praise be to Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, all our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of lasting peace, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know who we are, Christians, by our love, where charity and love prevail, their God is ever found, brought here together by Christ's love, by love are we thus bound. With grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we learn. Let us with heart and mind and soul now love God in return. Forgive we now each other's faults as we our faults confess. And let us love each other well in Christian holiness. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Let strife among us be unknown. Let all contention cease. Be God's the glory that we seek. Be ours God's holy peace. Let us recall that in our midst dwells God's begotten Son as members of his body joined. We are in Christ made one. No race nor creed can love exclude. If honored be God's name, our family embraces all whose father is the same. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank our musician, our reader, all of you who are joining us here, our, our chapel at St. Paul's, and those joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Send us your spirit, O Lord. Evening enfolds us and holds us to near. Wake the morning light, make our living bright. Shine on our dark.
darkness, oh Lord. Teach us your wisdom, oh Lord. Shadows have clouded, have crowded our sight. Give us hearts that see, set our loving free. Hear us and help us, oh 